Hello readers, welcome to Elias Blue. This is Deepen Gogoi and today we will discuss about this um, crude oil, pivot point market trend and market range and uh, we will see uh, what uh, going to be happen crude oil in, uh, today. So what is the entry point and exit point. So we will discuss about that. And you can see today crude oil of pivot point 3414 and the first uh, resistance 3480. Second is then three five eight two and the third is that three six four eight. First support three three one two and the second support three two um four six and the third support three one four four. So here we can see this one crude oil. So um, I think uh, I told you that the market is running in a range and uh, previously. So at that time market was running at that range right for a few days so when I told you that when you break this level so you go for sell but they, they but my target was 34880 but they, they came uh, more than that uh, place so they're still uh, running in a downtrend so uh, I think it will go more uh, like uh, below so how we'll find out that resistance line or oh sorry supporting line if you see in a small like daily basis so here we cannot find any support by using this indicator so we have to go for weekly chart um, so when I click the weekly chart uh, you can see they broke down this um, 200 uh, moving average and the next uh, we have to find some resistance line so let me remove this previous uh, supporting line oh sorry support we have to find uh, some supporting line so at that time we have to connect most uh, tosses area like uh, you can see here um, tosses area but this is too low so around um, 500 point so uh, we don't want that much point so we have to find above from this area line so if you see in a weekly most recent point how we'll find it yeah this one and uh, still they're showing some I just trying to connect here one touches and it just broke down this one I just not like that uh, two touches and uh, almost three touches are here so exactly there uh, but still that uh, uh, current price is just hit in that uh, supporting line and uh, next we have to find some unique point uh, like uh, let me draw some point here but uh, it is yeah this one so you can see I just connected one touches two touches three touches and four touches around 20 uh, 932 and uh, this is uh, another supporting zone right uh, this is another supporting zone you can see here uh, just uh, let me draw here tosses point so mostly so uh, right now we got this two resist uh, two supporting line by using the PBS uh, support and resistance right and uh, if you see in the daily time frame now exactly in that area right and the daily is coming continuously down last uh, few days and another option we will use like a horizontal <coughs> channel so I just connected you can see I just connected previous high point and this one now I connected so now I will connect this one I'll draw this line and I'll connect the lower point so you can see here this one the lower point right 
so when we'll connect this one so this this will be price channel now so it will be price channel so how we'll trade this one all right okay now you can see here i draw this price channel if in case they break this level around 3263 start selling up to 20 932 level that level will be there so price channel will be there you can see first time they bounce from 20 moving average so when they will come this this level so i think 20 moving average will be like that okay it will hit again it will come down okay this is uh, for our long position so let's see in small time frame like a four hour so four hour you can see this is uh, market is running in this range and i draw this channel this is the channel so you can see here market broke down this level this resistance line diagonal so from this level they may give a correction also up to this area again they will start failing right it is for four hour and if you see in a small time frame like um one hour or 30 minutes so here one thing you can see if we connect fibonacci in a 30 minute so we will able to find the extension point of fibonacci so fibonacci extension point is showing there exactly right now around 33 so from this area they may give a little more correction but uh, uh, don't go for buy because market trend is totally down and strongly down so in the in that case we don't it is very risky for buying so if you able to get any retracement like you can see how to uh, confirm that uh, this uh, retracement is uh, like uh, completed so start failing so what happened exactly market like that when market is failing like that they are supporting uh, they have giving some resistance by some moving average like now you can see here moving average is giving some resistance exactly what happened you you can see the market is failing from there so first time they that the old moving average are here so after that failing price now you can see first time they hit 100 moving average that uh, yellow color this is 100 moving average right from there giving a big resistance at that time so after that prices fell down again now this is the supporting zone if you buy here i think it will pull back again if they cross this level you can go for sell but your sell will be more probability uh trade will be here like you can see previously they price is just bouncing from 100 moving average so if price give a correction from this area because here is a supporting line and if they give a correction little more and if they're giving again 100 moving average so in this area you go for sell right sell it because previously market behavior is showing us that they are bouncing from 100 moving average right so second time if they goes near to 100 moving average start selling from this area because it is high probability to bounce back again from 100 moving average right so this will be your entry point today so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching